Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you today? Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. No. ¿Cómo le pasa? ¿Cómo siguió? Bastante mejorcita, fíjese. Todavía. Ay, qué bueno. Todavía contó, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. ya vamos superando bastante. bastante. Qué bueno, gracias a Dios que sí, ya, ya pasó la crisis. Sí, ya podemos decir que sí. Ya lo... Sí, la verdad que sí, este, es este, como se llama, bien complicado eso de, de hoy en día, de, de estos, esos procesos así, eh, de nariz y de garganta, horrible, el cambio de temperatura. Aquí se queda todo congestionado uno, uh -huh. ahí andamos todavía con puño y pastillitas. <risa> Pero, Pero ya, ya, ya va a salir, ya va a ver. Ay, primero Dios que sí, ya vamos, ya vamos en, encaminados. <ríe> sí. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, how are you? Ay, ¿cómo se llama usted? Pues bastante mejor, ya bastantito mejor. Vaya Aquí. que nos alegra, Ayer nos alarmamos con la noticia que nos dieron. Sí, no, pero no era porque yo estuviera mal. Es que se nos estaba, tuve que ir a asistir a un, a un funeral. Se nos fue nuestro pastor de la iglesia. Entonces ya me dije, realmente no puedo, no puedo, no puedo, ¿verdad? Así es que ahí estamos. Ya. No, porque yo, sí, voy, 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 mejorando, 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 uh -huh. tomando agua, <ríe> tecito, sope pollo, a sope pollo. <ríe> Ahí vamos, porque si de repente se congestiona uno de regreso, es que estos cambios de clima están bastante feos, pero... Eso es lo que, lo que afecta, el calor está húmedo, está caliente, en la madrugada baja la temperatura un montón, entonces eh, todo eso, ahorita estoy sudando, ya más noche voy a estar con frío. De todo eso, todo eso nos, definitivamente nos, nos afecta, pero ahí vamos. Well, let's see how many people are here now. Vamos a ver. Ah, okay, perfect. We are 15 now. Let's see. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, I'm good. How are you? Fine, fine. Okay. Ready, ready. Vaya. Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Nice, nice. Eh, Analicia. Present teacher. Nice. Carlos José. Present teacher. Voy a estar de oyente unos 20 minutos nada más. Okay. Okay, okay. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. David Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Eh, también estaré de oyente. Si puedo, me, me incorporo más adelante. Va, ok. Me avisa, me avisa hoy en algún momento si logró ya, ya, ya estar completo. Okay. Gracias. Porque, porque si no, para mientras lo sigo mandando a grupo de tres. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. El man, no, no here. Gemma, Gemma, Carolina, Jessica Lisset, 
José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher, uh, I'm driving right now. Um, I will be as a listener, like uh, 20 minutes, please. Okay, José Alberto. Thank you. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena, no here. Present teacher. Ah, estaba escondidita. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. Rosy. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Bacha. Ahí estamos. Let's see if somebody enter after I called you. Elmer Fabrizio. Emma. Jessica. <coughs> Karen Stephanie. Oscar Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Aquí estoy. Ok. Rebeca. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Grace Michelle. <coughs> ok. Okay, allá digo. Good. Well, nice to see you and thank you. Okay, thank you. I saw your your comments and thank you very much. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. So we're ready now to continue working. I'm going to share and before I forget, I'm going to share to leave it for everybody to share, right? And let's see. This is our class number 17. And today we're going to be talking about superlative forms of adjectives. We are going to make a, a, a review, right? We are going to make a review of the comparatives and we will also be talking about the superlatives. Okay. Remember these questions? What is a daily schedule? Yes. Now, what we're going to do right now is this. We're going to match the vocabulary we have. Work schedule, break, overtime, and call in. That's the vocabulary we're going to do. Work schedule. What is work schedule? Mm -hmm. Remember, we were mentioning shift the day before yesterday, right? So you have work schedule, break, shift, overtime, and calling. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to match the words with the definitions.
Okay. Basham, I'm going to send you to the room so you go chair, right? And compare your answers with your partners. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm -hmm. We will have groups of three. Vamos a ver, Edwin Oscar. Okay. Bah, okay, ready? Go and discuss with your partners, match, and then we'll check. Teacher, did you send us the, the image? That is in the manual. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's from the manual. Let me tell you the page. Let's see. 25, I guess. Twenty-six. Page twenty-six. <coughs> Try to join. Vamos a ver, Gemma, Carlos. The second one, break. Break is a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Yes. Uh -huh. This is Shift. the time break. of the day when a person works. Uh -huh. Yes, overtime. When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or a week, in a day or a week. Mm -hmm. And the last one, call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Okay. Call yeah, in. But in but... I call in, es cierto. Mm -hmm. Ay, es cierto. Ah, pues no, no, no. No, that's good. As mm -hmm. you it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the when you work more the regular working hours in a day or the week? Mm -hmm. Is it este? It's yes. over time. Over time, yes. Over time. Over time. Oh, okay. Vamos a ver. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, tell me. My microphone said no microphone. It's not working. <laughs> so sorry. Uh -huh. Tell me. How do you feel today? Better. How do you feel today? Much better. Ah. Uh, yeah, much better. Great. Yeah. Yeah, much better than the other days. Como inserto acá líneas paralelas. Quiero ver. Y esa línea que estaba haciendo no la pueden mover. Es recta, es recta la línea. Pero no la pueden mover con shift. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo o, no? Donde, Se puede. O, o agarrarla de la puntita y hacerla para un lado. Pues no me deja. No me deja la sinvergüenza. No me deja doblarla. Quiero ver. Algo más aquí. Tal vez acá vamos a. And if you copy the one of the book. 
14. Ah, uh-huh. Maybe. Como did you? Copy paste the one of the book. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, yes. I I was uh, I was telling uh, David that uh, we are arriving to San Miguel. You are you are in San Miguel, Carla. No, uh, to, and now I am in San Salvador. Oh, but the temperature right now is like the one is to me. See. <laughs> Vamos llegando de San Miguel. Oh, my goodness, really? Sí. Wow. How many hours? Four? No. Three. Mm. Three? Mm -hmm. Three hours. Wow. That's a very long drive. Three hours because I am in in San Marcos, but Edwin maybe four hours because he is in the Constitution. Wow, yeah. Yeah, the Constitution Boulevard gets terribly crowded. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you can, baby. So, so. <laughs> Creo que queda el cuadro. Sí, okay. no importa. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no problem. It will disappear later. Vamos a ver si esto formato. Ah, y why don't you use the pencil better? The pencil. Sí. Vamos a ver bien, yes, yo no, no. Por eso. No lo deja el pencil. No, no, no me deja el pencil. Ah. A ver, texto, imagen. Ay, no. La próxima no me va a pasar, voy a. <risa> Bueno, pero no importa. Veamos, digamos aquí vamos a inventar algo. Aquí le vamos a poner a la par el texto. Ajá. De que uh -huh. No vamos a estar complicando ya. Ajá, sí. Es better. <risa> es que es, el, es, que es el, el tipo de PDF, ¿verdad? Sí. Creo que eso. Ok, Oversight. Y le vamos a dar un chiquecito aquí. All right. Sí, porque yo tengo, yo tengo lápiz. A mí no me deja, man. Tengo lápiz, tengo para escribir, pero lo que yo no puedo es copy paste. Ah, yo sí, este, este que tengo, puedo modificar, copiar uh -huh. y transformar. Yo no puedo usar copy paste, no me permite copiar. Por ejemplo, yo acá, yo le doy acá y yo puedo aquí escribir encima de este, por ejemplo. ¿Ve? Mm -hmm. Me deja todo. Aquí yo sí campo. puedo editar PDFs, pero estaba uh -huh. viendo aquí si podía hacer una línea así y no, no, no he podido. No, es que quizás es como los, los parámetros que deja, pero no te preocupes. Sigamos con esto. Okay. Yeah, you, can, you can write it. Calling the time and the telephone, your workplace to let them know that you are going to attempt or late. Sería aquí, I think. Calling. Calling? Call, call in. Yes. You... I see. La colada. Sí. Teacher, yeah. Ay, teacher. 
Ya. Ay, ¿cómo Ay. Vamos? Ya terminamos, teacher. Oh, really? Yes. <risa> wow, 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 wow. Ready to cheer. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? I'm just going to check one more group and then I call you then. Que cuando... Ajá, entonces... Sí, la única que no entiendo bien la idea es eh, la de sí. Chief Teacher. Why? Chief? Chief. Es turno. Turno. Uh -huh. Ah, eso es chico. Lo voy a anotar porque. That's why it says the time of day when a person works, because some people work in the morning, others work at night, mm -hmm. others in the afternoon. So you can say, I have the afternoon shift. Or I have the night shift. Especially uh, people who work in call centers, they speak a lot about shifts, right? Mm -hmm. Security people too. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Because they have a, a, a very, uh, a chief that, that is very, very strict, right? They have a, a complete schedule that the when one, too. When one person enters, the other leaves, and the other cannot leave if the other doesn't arrive, right? Mm -hmm. Nurses. Mm -hmm. Nurses, too. They cannot leave the patients alone. They have to be there until the other one arrives. Okay, well, let's go. You're ready. Let's go. Bueno, pues, vámonos. Vámonos. Ok. Ready. A ver. How many are here? Okay. Not everybody here yet. Let's see. Oh, I see. Everybody. Nice. Okay. Work schedule is a chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week, and times of the day they are required to work, right? What is break? Break. Break a small period of time. When a person has stopped working to eat or bread. Ah, ah, exactly. Uy, no, espérenme que aquí estoy agarrando el pencil de Zoom. Quiero el otro. Está cool. <ríe> es que si agarro el de Zoom, me, pues me queda rayado todo, aunque me vaya a otra página. Vaya, a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Very good. What is a shift? The times of the day when a person works. Mm -hmm. What shift do you work? Morning? You work the, the morning shift, the afternoon shift, or the evening shift? What shift do you work? 
morning, Chief. Morning. Morning and afternoon. Morning and afternoon. Mm -hmm. Morning and afternoon, Chief. Me too. Morning and afternoon. Okay. What about what is overtime? When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. <clears throat> That's overtime. Colleen. To telephone your workplace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, llegas. Okay, to telephone your workplace to let them know that you're going to be absent or late. For example, when you are sick, you call in. Right, you call in your your work to say that you're going to be a uh, sick. Oh, no, 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 that you're going to be sick. That you're going to be absent. And if you have a problem when traveling, you also call in to let your your boss knows know that you're going to be late. Any question here? No question. No? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Vaya, let's move to the schedule. Now you know what is a schedule, right? That's a work schedule. Check. In the work schedule, we said that we have the days of the week, the time, a uh, for each of the people, right, that are in, in the in the workplace. And here you have a work schedule. What you're going to do is look at this work schedule, pay attention to the time, what each of the people do, and what are the activities that they do in each of those days and in the, each specific time. Look at Laura. Laura is a kitchen manager, right? So from she works from 12 to 6 p.m. She has an afternoon shift. And she has a 30-minute break every single day. That's from Tuesday to Friday. And she doesn't work on Saturday. At least that Saturday, September 9th, well, she has a day off, right? She doesn't work on Saturday. She doesn't work on Sunday and Monday. She's not here on Monday, you see? Well, we have no Monday. And then we have Thomas. Thomas is a dishwasher, so he washes the dishes, right? That's his job, dishwashing. He works the same in, in the afternoon. She works from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And he has a day off on Wednesday. He works from Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But on Wednesday, no. Um, probably, probably this restaurant is not open on Monday, yeah? There are some restaurants that do not open on Monday because they have to rest. That's a, a, a day off for everybody in the in the in the workplace, not just for one. But Thomas has a part of that day off for everybody. He has a day off on Wednesdays. And then we have Sophia. Sophia, the bartender, works from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. So everybody finishes working, but Sophia continues there until 11 p.m. She had 30 minutes break. And she works Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That on Friday and Saturday, September 8th, she's on vacation. Yes. And then we go to Carlos. Carlos is in training on Tuesday, September 5th. He's on training from 8 to 6 p.m. And he has an hour break. 
one hour break. Probably he's new, right? And then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, he works as a server. And he works from eight to six. He has a long shift. So his break is one hour. But on Saturdays, he's off. Yeah, he has a day off. Okay, now that we saw all the schedules for the four people, Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos, what you're going to do is answer the following questions. Who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? When is the dishwasher's day off? How long is Thomas' break? What is Sofia's job in the restaurant and when is her vacation? When is Carlos on training and what is his schedule on Fridays? Okay. So remember, you pay attention to the schedule of everybody and then you answer the questions. Okay. Any questions? No. No, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Vámonos. I'm going to make groups again. Let's see, we are 19, stay for 38, okay. Let's see. Um, hmm. I hope we have, uh, yeah. Oh, perdimos a Diego. Mm -hmm. Okay. Batch, there we go. Ready. Remember, go answer the questions. Try to move, try to join. Check, check. Great. Hi, Karen. No entró Gema, ¿verdad? Ya le traigo a alguien más. Ay, ay. A ver, A, B. ¿Qué? ¿Dónde estamos? Entonces... Ah, aquí está Gema. Hello, Gema. Gema, Gema, hello. Hello, Miss. ¿Está de oyente o está, está activa? Sí, estoy de oyente. Okay. Ahorita. Hi, Nubia. Hi, teacher. Vaya, me la traje porque Diego está oyente y Karen está 
eh, solo Karen está activa, los otros dos están de oyen. Hoy. Ah, okay. perfecto. Carlos. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Ya bastante mejor. <ríe> Gracias por preguntar. Eso, sí. eso está bueno. Ya se oye sí, mejor. Es. ¿Verdad? Ahí solo la esa gripe que no me quiere quitar, no sé por qué. <ríe> la tos no, no le quiere. Pero... No, la tos Así sí, la, la, la gripe es la que no, la gripe. Uh -huh. Así está mi hermana, ya casi un mes de estar, como que, como que ah, se ha tragado no. un combo bien. Ay, horrible. Da vergüenza. Un mes, por Dios. Qué sí. tremendo. Sí, bien feo. Así como que la gente lo mira a uno feo. Que dice, uy. Sí. Cuando todos se ven estornudas, sí. se le quedan viendo así bien raro y todos son pechos. Sí. Se alejan. Sí. Se alejan. No, y lo ven así como quien dice, alejes, alejes. Sí, pues sí. <risa> Ni modo. Todo raro a uno, lo ven como que bicho raro. Ajá. Sí, cuando yo estaba más grave, ahí en el trabajo rapidito se ponía la mascarilla. <risa> ¿Quién se ponía la mascarilla? Ay, no. Mi compañero de trabajo. <risa> ah, no, Qué nosotros mamá. siempre... Ay, no. Nosotros siempre andamos con mascarilla en el trabajo. ¿Y usted dónde ah. trabaja, Tiche? Yo trabajo por ahí en un colegio privado. Mm. Así que pero, hay... pero es colegio... Ay, es como bachillerato, sí. Ah, pero no es bilingüe. No, no, no es bilingüe. Pero es este, con bastante amplitud. Yeah. Uh -huh. O sea, ¿Con bastante? Ahí con los niños, o sea, para yo, ellos se quitan la mascarilla, veas, como no es obligatorio, pero eh, a los chiquitos, los de primero es fácil, miren, recuerden que todavía no termina, ¿verdad? No se quiten la mascarilla. Uh -huh. Ya los de uh -huh. segundo y así como, ay, señor, te... Ya, sé. ya no, pero yo les digo, cuídenme, pónganse la mascarilla cuando se acerquen a mí, cuídenme. Ah, sí, sí, me dice, al rato andan sin nada. Ya no. With the con years. But the teachers, we are all with mask. All. That we are all wearing mask. Because we are protecting them and protecting us too. Uh -huh. y mal. No, y la verdad que parece broma, pero vaya, yo por ejemplo, aquí donde mi papá, mi papá lleva un hombre ya de 82 años, pero uno lo cuida y va a creer que uno se enferma y él anda como que nada. Exacto. En enero nos dio a mi mamá, a mi hermana y a mí COVID. Él nos atendí nosotros con la pena de que se podía enfermar y nada. Gracias a Dios. Sí. Gracias a Dios, tiene muy Bien saludable. Sí, a pesar de que es diabético, hipertenso, pero no, gracias a Dios, este, superó. Tiene muy el, el... Sí. sí. That's great. Ya no lo hacen así. <risa> ya no. no. No, ya no te vimos. <risa> Ay, no. We are made of another material. Imagine. Ya son, ¿cómo es que le llama? Edition Limit. O, ah, yeah. o Limit Edition, ¿eh? Vea. Limited Edition. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Leyenda, leyenda. <risa> <risa> yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. Vaya Nubia. The answer the question. Okay. Vaya dice number one. Who is in charge of force? In charge. Chat. In charge. Chat. Chat. For chatting. No chat, no. Eso quisiera. <laughs> in charge. Who is in charge? Um, who is in charge 
-huh. of, uh -huh. of purchasing. Of purchasing, yeah. Purchasing food from Tuesday to Friday. Laura. Laura. Dicen Laura. 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 La Laura. La Laura. La Laura de mañana. Uh -huh. Vaya. Number two. When mm -hmm. is the dishwasher day off? Um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Y Wednesday. the person. Uh -huh. no. Tomás. Wednesday. Sí, Tomás. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Are you about to finish? We yes. finish. Okay. And the answers? Yes, teacher. We share the answers only speaking. Ah, okay. But we subray, pero ya le voy a buscar subrayar the answers. You For under, example, you underline the answers. I underline the answers. Mm -hmm. Number one, who is in charge? of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays. Kitchen manager is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to Fridays. Okay. And uh, who's the kitchen manager? Uh, Laura. Laura. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Laura. Okay. Carlita, number two, do you want to? When is... The dishwasher days off. Get over. Yes. Hace más grande. Sí, por favor. Ahorita, espérenme un segundito. Bye. Así. Sí. Eh... The day off of kitchen manager is Wednesday. Wednesday, exactly. September 6th. Exactly. Wednesday is, is the dishwasher's day off. Mm -hmm. Jose Alfredo, sí. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> How long is Thomas break? Um, the break of Thomas is Thomas of, break. Thomas break. Thomas break. The break is, of Thomas, right? Thomas break is thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. No. Um, what is Sophia jobs in the restaurant? Um, uy. Sofía is a bartender. And um, when is her vacation? Um, this, ¿cómo sería? The vacation uh, of Sofía is on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Correcto. Yes. In number five, when is Carlos on training? Carlos is on training on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. And Carlita? What is Carlita the... is on training from Monday to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what is the schedule on Friday? The schedule on Friday is 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And he has one, one, hours, one hour break. One hour break, yeah. He has a very, uh, well, no, no, it's not very long because it's only one hour. 
for the whole day. The others, it's a short time. It's, it's only a short shift, the one they have. That's what you would call here a part-time job. But for mm -hmm. Carlos, it's full-time job. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go. Let's out. Let's go. Bye. I'm always silent when I come back from the little rooms. Baja. Who, who is in charge of purchasing food from, uh, from Tuesdays to Fridays? Who? Laura. Yeah, Laura, give me a complete sentence. Laura is... Laura. Is in charge of in charge of purchasing charge food. of purchasing from food from. purchasing food from, from Tuesday to Friday. Very good. When is the dishwasher's day off? When is the dishwasher's day off? The dish, we begin here, right? Remember, remember that when you answer a question, you take part of the equation in your answer. The dishwasher's day off is? Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. That is uh, to give a complete answer. So not just the date, right? But to give me a complete answer. How long is Thomas break? Thomas break. Thomas break. Thomas break is 30 minutes for the It's 30 minutes. It's 30, mm -hmm. 30 minutes. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? She's a so, bartender. She's a bartender. When is her vacation? Her vacation is on Friday to Saturday. Okay, her vacation is on Friday and Saturday. Uh, and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Two days, right? Two days on Friday and Saturday. Okay, when is Carlos training? When is Carlos on training? Carlos is on training on Tuesdays. Aha. Uh -huh. Carlos is on training on Tuesday. What is his schedule? Oh. What is his schedule on Fridays? What's his schedule? What? What is his schedule on Fridays? He's serving. His schedule is work from his schedule. Aha. Uh -huh. His schedule is. Uh -huh. From three a.m. to six p.m. and he has one other one hour from for break. Okay. His schedule is from eight to four on Fridays. See, it's a schedule is from eight to four on Fridays because we want to know on Fridays. Basically, all the days are the same for him or no? Vamos a ver, Carlos, say, Puchito. Yeah, all the days are the same. Monday, no, Monday, no. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
from eight to six. Great. Questions here? Hmm? No question? No questions? No. No, teacher. Bye. Okay. Now comes your turn. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Check. In pairs, you're going to use the, the lab board. We're checking for Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos. And going to create, create a basic schedule. If you see that schedule, you saw that is basic. <laughs> They are not entering in a very big detail of what you do at every single time during the day. Not just the schedule, right? The normal schedule from what time to what time you work or each person works and um, the break. That's it, right? So use the model above to create a basic schedule for five employees at your company. Hmm? Then share your schedule with the class. For teachers, I know it will maybe a little more complicated. Uh, for example, in my case, I don't work out. I don't work the same schedule every day, right? So the schedule will be completely different. But for the rest of the people, probably the schedule will be similar. Yeah? But yeah. Any questions? No questions? Remember, you use the model above and then you create a basic schedule for five employees at your company. And then you will be ready to share with the rest of the class. Making groups again, but this time will be pairs. Uh -huh. Okay. There we go, Carlos and Jose Alfredo, Oscar Mauricio Rebecca, Gemma Rosa Hilda. Diego, no sé si ya llegó, todavía no. En unos momentos, teacher, ya casi, casi, casi. Ok, ok. José Alberto, todavía no, ¿verdad? Ya estoy acá, teacher. José Alberto. Ah, vaya. Sí. Perfecto. Perfect. Adriana Marcela. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Ana Alicia Yelda, Edwin Karen Janet, Carla Lorena Nubia, David and Grace. Algunos de los que mencioné en pareja con alguien están todavía en tráfico? No. No, no. No, 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 no. ¿Están seguros? ¿No me va a dejar al compañerito solito? Va. Ok. Bueno, there we go. Let's go. Remember, you will create a schedule for five people that work in your company, ok? As you're working together, you can mix. Try to join. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Excel estaría perfecto. Permítame. Voy a ver si puedo compartir ya. Vaya. Ya la puede ver. Sí, claro que sí. Ok. Eh, cinco personas, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Correcto. Ok, vamos a... In English. Ah, bueno. yeah. eh, a José, a Carlos, a Lorena. Right. Uh, from Monday to Saturday. 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 Okay. Wednesday. Thursday. Yes, yes. Jueves, ¿verdad? Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Okay. Um, ¿Qué les ponemos? Um, el primero, bueno, cada, casi incluía el cargo, el horario y el tiempo de descanso. Por ejemplo, okay. a Juanito. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Qué puede ser Juanito? <risa> Uh, ah, puede ser cajero. Cashier. Vaya. Ajá. Uh, the, sería the Monday of, of Friday. Ajá. Lunes a viernes. Eh, from, bueno, in my work, eh, is chief de 12 horas. Los turnos son de 12 horas. The chief is from two Fridays. Eh, 12 hours. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y podemos ponerle el break. Pero, pero ¿a qué, a qué horas iniciaría la jornada? Sería de 6 a.m. a 6, 6 p.m. Así verdad. 6 p.m. Uh -huh. De ahí. El break. <coughs> The uh -huh. break del almuerzo de uh -huh. de 12 a 1. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Uh, podemos ponerle que el día sábado como no va a ir no va a estar en horario puede tener vacación o vacación vacation qué más qué más qué más uh... Digo que con solo eso porque ajá, era como manera general. Ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ajá, but uh, what time is the break? Ah, uh, aquí está, teacher. From 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Ah, uh, mm. okay. Okay. Va, de ahí, esa la puedo explicar <coughs> entonces. Va, de ahí. Quiero ver qué más podríamos poner. Podría ser... Eh, ah, sí, vale. Recepcionista. Recepcionista. Uh -huh. Bye. 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 Eight, eight, eight a.m. to five p.m. Mm -hmm. Break. Pero fíjese que aquí yo digo que le podríamos poner an hour, ¿verdad? Para no ser tan... Porque son, ah, creo sí. que son más flexibles con... Sí, con, sí, no, digamos, ajá. no es una hora establecida, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y la vacación podría ser Saturdays and Sundays, ¿verdad? Y aquí creo que sería el de el vigilante, sería, porque aquí solo le pusimos vacación sábados y los domingos a trabajar, ¿o sí? Eh, sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces sería o, from... o día libre podría ser. Eh... No, no es lo mismo que vacation, así como el ejemplo. Ah, day off, day off, day off. Sería. Day off, ajá. Uh -huh. The thing uh at eight PM. The thing I am uh huh e the I'll Saturday hasta el ese día descansa day off. Saturday. Day off. Uh -huh. Day off. <coughs> Saturday. Day off and Sunday too. Ajá. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Once, dos, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, la ocho. Trabaja casi las doce horas. Sí. One. Eh. Aquí vamos a poner uh, descansa hour break one hour one hour one hour break 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 mm -hmm. one hour break one hour break break Vaya, entonces este. Carla. Uh, he's a um, she's a sales woman. Teacher, it's okay. Sales woman. Yeah. No soy yo. <laughs> no soy uh -huh. yo. Es, es Oscar. Ah, sí, okay. estoy con gripe. Hoy me dio a mí. Oh, oh. Sí, Oscar está, está enfermito. Sí. No, I'm much better than Oscar. 
Good. Okay. Vamos a dar. Ah, yeah. <coughs> eh, ven a Yem? Media hora. No, de de ah, chat. Sí. A las. Eh, sería siete. Como son ocho horas, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, cinco, seis, pero hasta las dos de la tarde. Dos. No, hasta las tres, ¿no? Quiero ver. Tres, tres, tres p.m. Dos y media. O no, redondiemos, no, a las tres. Tres p.m. From seven to three. Mm. Uh -huh. Seven to three. Uh, but the break, the break, the break, the break, the sería the break, 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 Sería hasta las tres horas. Ajá. Tres En break. El break. One hour. One uh. hora. Legalmente, one hora. Okay. Pero no, en los salvadoreños media hora le das en el selecto. Sí. O el cristiano media hora. Agarra. Sí. Sí. Thirty minutes, one hour. One hour break. Okay. Yeah, because it's long time. <laughs> yeah, from seven to five. Well, from <laughs> eight to six thirty. That's very long. Long mm -hmm. time for working. Ah, tiempo de trabajo sí bastante. Sí. Ah, you thought I was saying the lunch time? No, only one hour. It's not enough. <laughs> um, I have sometimes I have forty five minutes, and sometimes I have one hour and a half. Three days a week. Three days a week. I have one hour and a half, and two days a week. I have only forty five minutes. Oh. Mm. It's good. Depending on the and, and you take your, your lunch in, in, in the in at the work. work place. Yeah, I have I have lunch at work. Oh. One or como se escribe hora y media. Hour and a half. One hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Sí, one hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Dicha, ya llevo 12 años trabajando nueve horas y media diarias. Nueve horas y media. Uh -huh. De lunes a sábado. Wow. ¿Cómo era I was like that. ¿Sí? I was like that. I used to do it. But since this year, I reduced my working time. Oh. I work in the morning. I start work at nine. I work from nine to three. That's well. Um, Monday, I finish at three. Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, I finish at three. Wednesdays, I finish at 2.15. And Thursday, 
I finish at 1.30. Mm, 44 hours in a, in a week. Something like that. And I don't work Saturday all day long. I work no. Saturday only the morning. Mm -hmm. Still last year, I used to work Saturday all day, but no more. No. Ya no. <laughs> no more, no more. Okay. Lo voy a poner en el centro para que se vean que son todos los días de la semana. Mm. Que no tenemos ni, ni Excel, teacher, nada. Aquí estamos, Navil Cayo. Estamos en Lipidia con... No, oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Y como obvio este de blog de notas, no todo se trastorna cuando uno quiere hacer algo. Yes, it's true. Okay. okay. Now <coughs> it's your turn. Okay. Okay. No, it's not for a while. For chasing. Uh huh. Money. Okay. Change the S for the R. Hmm? Voy a cambiar la S por la R. ¿A dónde? En... Ah, sí, sí, ah. sí, sí. Sí, perdón. Ahí está. Es the same schedule. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eight <laughs> a.m. Y estos sí los cajeros cuadran temprano. One day a week, they will leave early. Yes, teacher. Okay. Ay, that's the happiest day of the week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Se entiende que es un horario, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Se entiende que es un horario con mucho sacrificio hecho. <laughs> yes, of course. Tratamos de leer. <coughs> Pongamos a a flor. Okay. Almost. Hi, teacher. We finish. Finish. Wow. Qué bonito. Oh, nobody works on Saturday. Ah, uh, but they work on Sunday. Really? No. Fue. Hi, teacher. Hello. So they don't work on Saturday, but they work on Sunday. Ya 
tener, eh, no sería un vacation. A receptionist. And sí, está bien. The same day o other day? Eh, Monday and Tuesday. <coughs> On you. Hola. Day off. Or me. Two days off. Mm. Yes. Okay. This all, teacher. That's it. Okay, vámonos. Que no hemos... Let's see. Missing, still missing some people. A ver, Adriana, Marcela, present. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. David, David. No ha venido todavía David. Ah, están viniendo todavía. <clears throat> oh, sí. Vaya, David, Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Excelente. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica Lisset. Jessica. No está Jessica. No. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Estefan. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Lizette Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. <laughs> Lizette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Grace Michel. Grace Michel, no está. Eh, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Grace, present teacher. Sorry, me había levantado justamente. 
Baixão. Ok. Teacher present, Alfredo. <ríe> ¿A dónde andaba? Ay. Me habían perdido. Tomando agua. Oh, ok. Vaya, check. I want to listen to you, right? Um, I need volunteers to cheer. Please. <tose> and show me your uh, schedules for the people in your... We oui, teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and you chair. Go ahead, Anna. Can you see it? Yes. Pero me quiero hacer... Esto más para acá. Mm, perfecto. Bye. My partner was Elda. <coughs> eh, yes, we took, we eh, choose a uh, shoe store. Schuster, uh -huh. Fabric uh, first, Rene is the manager. Uh, he worked from 8 to, to 5 p.m. And, and he has a uh, one hour break uh, from Monday to Friday. And Saturday, uh, he has a day off. Then Alejandra is the saleswoman. Uh, she works from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. from Monday to Wednesday and Friday too. Uh, Thursday, she has a day off. And Saturday, she works from 12 to, uh, from 8 to 12 p.m. Uh, then Maria is a saleswoman too, uh, but she has the the afternoon shift. Uh, she works from 1 to 5 p.m. Uh, on Monday to Thursday. And Saturday, uh, she is a cashier from 8 to 12. And uh, Friday is her day off. Okay. Then Sarah, uh, she is the cashier from Monday to Friday, uh, from 8 to, to 5 p.m. And she has a one hour break. Uh, the day off is on Saturday. And finally, Carlos, uh, he's a, the cleaning staff. staff. Uh, he worked from 8 to 5 p.m from Monday to Friday, and uh, Saturday is his day off. Okay. That's it, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Sarah and Carlos have the same schedule, right? Both have a day off the same day. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We were thinking that only the sales uh, saleswoman and cashier works on Saturdays, oh. and the staff has their day off on Saturdays hmm. because they need a rest. Yeah, we all do. Definitely. Okay, one more volunteer. If no, Anna chooses the victim. Victim or volunteers? I volunteer, teacher. Okay, David, go ahead and you can share. Okay. Yeah, the red. Mm -hmm. In our case, yeah, the five employer. 
in the schedule is the Monday, uh, Sunday. Sunday is the day off uh, every day. For everybody, okay. Everybody. Race is the store manager. The schedule is the 7.30 to 4.30. To 4.30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is 60 minutes the break. Every day. Every day, okay. Aura is the customer service one. The shared one is the 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And break is the 50 minutes every day. Okay. Road, customer service two. The shared one is the 8, eight and a half a.m. to Five half p.m. and the break is the sixty minutes every day. Marvin is cashier. Uh, he is the the children in the eight a.m. to one p.m. then uh, three p.m. to six half p.m. and he. He takes two hours a break mm -hmm. every every day, uh, except on the Tuesday, is the free afternoon. Okay. No, no have break. No break. No break. Okay. In in Jose, is the customer service three. The Sheldon is the nine half to six half p.m. A uh, 30, no, 50 minute break every day. Every day. Okay. Yes. So that means that the one that works only five hours doesn't have a break. Yes. Wow. Okay. And the Sunday is the day of everybody. Sunday is the day of for everybody. Okay. Thank you, David. Aha, who will be my next volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. A ver, a ver. David, choose a victim. Sure, choose a victim? Yes. ¿Quién me da primero? Todos van a estar así. Adriana, Adriana, iba a decir otro nombre. Mire, ca, mire, Carla, para que no viera que lo miraba, mejor sí. solo dejó de ver el pelo. Sí, cabal. <ríe> ok, Adriana, your turn. Ok, teacher, my partner was. Eh... Ay, se me olvidó el nombre. Lisette, sorry. Lisette. Uh -huh. And we work uh, with a uh, example for her job. Okay. Uh, we choose five a uh, charge. Yeah. For her job. Uh, the first one is a uh, yeah. vigilant. Mm -hmm. uh, he works from Mondays to Friday. Uh, he has a schedule from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 12 hours per day. He has an hour. To, from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. for lunch time. Mm. Uh, have a break uh, from 10 minutes for day. Mm. And on Saturdays, uh, he has vacation and his day off are on Sun. Sundays. Yes. Reception. Re receptionist or reception? How do you say? Yeah. Receptionist. Okay. Uh, she works from Mondays to Fridays, uh, from eight a.m. from to to uh, from eight a.m. to five p.m. Uh, has a, an hour for lunch time and fifteen minutes for day for a break. Uh, she doesn't have vacation and her days off are Saturdays and Sundays on weekends. A mm. uh, job account it has the same schedule. And you can see he works from Mondays to Fridays, 
from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It has an hour for lunch time and a break uh, for 15 minutes per day. And he his days off are on weekends. Operators and supervisor has the same uh, schedule because they work uh, on rotative uh, demand. And if this is one of the examples that they have for those rotative uh, schedules. For example, uh, they work from Monday to Tuesday from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. They always have an hour for lunchtime and, uh, and a break in the case of, of the but, operator. But this one is in at night. Yes, at night. Uh, that's what I say that is one of the examples because they have a different a horario, a schedule. The schedule. Yes. So, so they uh, have one hour for dinner. Yes. Uh -huh. and in this case, it's for dinner. Yes. Okay. And breakfast. No. Yes. No, right. for dinner. No, for dinner, right? In the, dinner. the break is a midnight. The kind of, uh -huh, the, the kind of, of break. Mm -hmm. of, of uh, break uh, and they have rotative a uh, day for the day off because they have a day for rest and start the next a uh, turn in the mornings or in the case in the night okay and that's all okay good everybody has 10 minutes 15 minutes to go to the restroom or for a cup of coffee right Okay, nice. One last volunteer. One last. Or a victim teacher. A victim. Volunteer or victim? Ah, pues victim, Adriana. Okay, Rosy. Rosy. Bien aconsejada por David. Mm -hmm. Ay, señorita Rosy. Okay, teacher. Our schedule is different, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alberto, help me, please. Alberto. Okay. <laughs> Uh, an apology, we had technical problems to make a, our scheduled table, a scheduled table, and we make uh, one special. Okay. And uh, we make a mix in our companies and the schedule uh, is like a Ricardo, Manager, uh, she work from Monday to Saturday from 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. with one hour break. And the day off is the Sunday. Okay. Ada, is the human resource manager. She works from Monday to Saturday, from 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. with a one hour break and the day off is the Sunday. Alberto is the seller. Uh, he make from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. with one hour and a half of break. And the day off is Saturday and Sunday. Rosa, Rosa is a purchasing manager. She works from Monday to, to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. with an hour one hour break and the day off is on Sunday on Sunday 
And Flor is an assistant manager. She works to Monday, from Monday to Saturday, and she works from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. with an hour break. And the Saturday she works from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. The day off is the Sunday. Okay, Sunday That's is the day off. Okay. <laughs> Long shifts, right? From 8 to 6.30. <laughs> Very long. But that's the that's the reality that we have here. Sure, uh, Oscar, go ahead. Okay, so that's the reality here <clears throat> with our schedules from eight to five, from eight to five, from three okay. seven to four, depending on the company, or from seven thirty to three. Oh. Like the one in the government, right? That's from 7.30 to uh, 3.30, right? Nice. Well, let's go back here. Okay. Well, we're going to enter a little bit in detail talking about the superlatives, a comparative and superlative. I have, I have left the, the comparative here. Remember, we were talking about the comparatives. I don't remember if it was unit one or unit two, but we were talking about comparatives before. And, and what I want you to see is the difference here. Comparative, remember, we said we are the R. <clears throat> if we have a one syllable adjective, we had to add ER, right? Like tall, taller, fat, fatter. But if I have consonant, vowel, consonant, I double the consonant and then I add ER. And in the superlative, the same. You double the consonant and then you add EST. So you say fat, fatter, the fattest. The. This will always take the, see? Big, bigger, the same. Consonant, vowel, consonant, right? Consonant, mm -hmm. vowel, consonant. So we double the G. Okay. We double the G and then we add yes. The big, bigger, the biggest. The biggest. The same happens with sad. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Then you say sad, sadder, double D. The saddest, this was the saddest movie I have seen, right? Saddest. Ahora, in the case of tall, you know tall has two vowels at the, two consonants, sorry, at the end. And when an adjective has two consonants at the end, we do not double any. Any, okay? So we say tall, taller, the tallest. Casuality, it has double L because we write tall with double L, right? But if you have, for example, um, cheap, you say cheap, cheaper, the cheapest. And cheaper will take only one P, right? Because we have two vowels, and the middle, not, not consonant, vowel, consonant, right? But you have consonant, two vowels, and consonant. In that case, we do not double the consonant. No for the comparative, no for the superlative. And that's why I have less the comparative for you to refresh what you know about comparatives and for you to see that the rules are exactly the same, yeah? The only thing, the only thing and the only difference is that with superlatives, we use EST and with comparatives, you use ER. Ahora, when do we use the, the superlatives? 
When? When do we use the superlatives? ¿Quién me dice? ¿Mm? Volunteer. A ver, I'm going to show you the examples. Check. Remember, we said in previous weeks that uh, we use the comparative when we are comparing two things, right? Can be to animals, to people, to building, to, to whatever, but two things exactly of the same type. For example, here, I can compare this bottle with this one, yeah? Ow. I can compare these two bottles, yes? One is bigger than the other one. And if I had another bottle here, I could use superlatives because then I would be comparing one against two, right? But when we are comparing, we compare, when we use comparative additives, we are comparing one against one, 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 yes? So you say, my house is larger than hers. So I'm comparing my house with her house right? My house is larger than hers. This box is smaller than the one I lost. So I lost one box that was big, but the one I have here is smaller. Your dog runs faster than Jim's dog. Which dog? Hmm. Your dog runs faster than Jim's dog. So we have two dogs, right? The rock flew higher than the roof. So, pasó arriba el techo, right? Jim and Jack are both friends, but I like Jack better. See? Now, here, remember, we're comparing one against one. One, 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 one. Here, I'm comparing only two things, right? When we use the comparative. That, when we use the superlative, we are comparing one thing against many more. See? One thing against two, against three, against the rest of the world, right? For example, if you say, my house is the largest one in our neighborhood. My house is only an example, right? My house is the largest aún el one lo podemos omitir, right? When we use one, it's for avoiding repetition. Instead of saying house again, I use one, but it's not necessary. So I can say my house is the largest in our neighborhood. So I can perfectly omit that, yeah? My house is the largest. ¿Por qué digo the largest? Because I'm comparing my house with all the other 50 houses in my neighborhood. See? Now, this is the smallest box I have ever seen. The smallest. You are comparing this little box with all the other boxes that you have seen before. No con las cajas que vio otra gente, no con las cajas que usted vio. That could be three, could be four, could be five, could be 20, could be many more, right? But you're comparing this little box with all the other boxes that you have seen in all your life, yeah? Now, your dog ran the fastest of any dog in the area. You're comparing your dog with all the other dogs in the neighborhood. Yeah? So your dog ran the fastest of, the, of any dog in the race. There were 10 dogs in the race, but yours was the fastest. Right? So you're comparing one dog against 10, 20, 50, depending on the number of dogs in the race, right? That means that your dog was the number one. Now, we all threw our rocks 
at the same time, but rock, my rock flew the highest. ¿Qué estamos comparando? My rock against all the other rocks of all the other people that we are discussing, right? We all threw our rocks at the same time. Mm -hmm. But there is a bat. My, my rock flew the highest. I don't know if you have any questions with uh, related to superlatives. Cuando usamos comparatives y cuando usamos superlatives. ¿Quién me dice? Hmm? When do we use comparatives? Uh, teacher, uh, we use comparative with, uh, we compare one to one. Uh -huh. and uh, for example, relatives? Two, two bottles, uh, we use the, the comparatives. And the superlative, with, we compare our or one thing with whatever. Uh, <laughs> exactly, with any quantity. So you can compare one against two or three or four or 50, right? For example, imagine if in your family you are, a, if my family, we are six. See, we are six. And I can tell you, I am the youngest of my family because I am the number six. I am the youngest. I'm the youngest in my family. See? Because I'm comparing me against the other five people that are there in my family, right? I am the youngest in my family. Well, if I'm talking about my brothers, right? But if I'm talking about my nuclear uh, family, I can say I am the shortest. My daughters are taller than me. A little bit, but they are taller than me. And they feel proud of that. <laughs> okay, so you are comparing yourself again, three, four, five, six, or many more people in the family, in the school, in the work, it doesn't matter where, or even around the world. For example, if we say El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America. See, we are comparing El Salvador with all the countries that we have in Central America. Any question? Questions? No question, teacher. Pasha, I want you to give me, mañana vamos a ver los más largos, right? I want you to give me examples, original examples, using adjectives in this form, superlative. Uh -huh. Think about it and then you tell me. Superlatives. Remember superlatives, you compare one against two, three, four, or more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Volunteers. Only one. One, one, one. Carlita, can you give me an example using superlative? Who is the tallest in your house? 
or in your family? I am more taller with my sister. You are taller than your sister. In that case, you are using this one, right? I'm taller than, you're using the comparative. I'm okay. taller than my sister. What mm -hmm. about if we want to use the superlative? I am the tallest. Jan I am uh -huh. the taller tallest than my sister. No, allí ya tendría que compararse no solo, remember, comparative es uno, uno. Sí, mm. comparative, uno, uno. Pero superlative es uno, two, okay. four, five, oh, many more, right? Ajá. Can I give you an example? Yes. My brother is the happiest of my life, of my family. Is the happiest of your family. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, Nubia, you can say, mm, I am the tallest in my family. Ya sería más alta que su hermana, que su hermano, que su papá, que su mamá, más alta que todo el mundo. Right? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Porque allí ya nos comparamos no solo uno uno, sino que uno contra muchos más. Entonces, uh -huh. you can say in my family, como el ejemplo que nos dio Ana, in my country, in my work, in my city, in my neighborhood, I am the most famous in my neighborhood. For example, right? Uh -huh. A ver, Adriana, give me an example, Adriana. Uh, it could be I am the I'm the okay, bigger than my sister. I am bigger than my sister. I am bigger than my sister, yes. And superlative uh -huh. could be I am the smallest in my family. <laughs> oh, yeah. But that's not possible. Why not? Because if you are bigger than your sister, you are not the smallest. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. I'm the, the... The shortest. Pero no, uh, in shortest. that case, your sister is the shortest. Okay? It's true. ¿Quién es la más chiquita? Your sister. She, yes. Uh -huh. Your sister, because you are taller than her. Sí. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, muy bien. One more volunteer. Ajá, Alberto. Um, superlative and comparative, or only superlative? You superlative. Okay. Uh, my car is the fastest of all compact cars. Oh, okay. Okay. Is the fastest of all compact cars. Very good. Thank you. Vamos a ver aquí a David. Y después vamos a oír a Elda Cristina. Ajá, David. Ajá, Ajá. <laughs> Tell me a sentence using superlatives. Okay, este. Eh, in my house, eh, is the patio, como se dice? The happiest. Happiest. Who is the happiest in your house? Eh, is the <coughs> largest. <coughs> In or the garage. Mm. Repeat that. In my house, in the ha in in my house, um, the high pens, the order. 
the, the highest, highest the highest the highest is the more larger uh, with my uh, the, the garage the garage okay then you say in my house in my the house, garage is the largest okay in my house the garage, the garage is the largest is the largest ajá uh -huh. es más grande que la cocina que la sala que los cuartos right? okay thank you. so it is the largest okay Good. excellent <coughs> uy teacher. elda tell me quién dijo teacher I, yo. Oh, Oscar, tell me. The nice is also. Repeat. Uh, for example, the, the nice of all or also late. No, 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 the nicest. The, nice of the all. nicest of all. Of all. all. Mm -hmm. Of all. The nicest of all. Okay. Aha, señorita Elda Karina. No, Elda Cristina. <laughs> uh, my computer is the fastest of, in the office. Okay, it's the fastest in the office. Very good. Nice, nice. Hey, and you can say Friday is the happiest day of the week. Why? Because it's close to Saturday. Okay. Any question? Question, questions. Les voy a dejar una tarea, aparte de la tarea que está allí en, el, en la plataforma. Y es que revisen las reglas de los comparativos que vimos hace un par de días. Que revisen en sus notitas que hacen las reglas de los comparativos que estuvimos estudiando hará que dos semanas. Y vean los ejemplos que hicimos. Porque eh, allí comparativos comparamos uno contra uno. Superlatives comparamos uno contra el resto. ¿Ok? ¿Verdad? That's, that's the difference. Ya no comparo uno a uno. Aquí comparo uno contra el resto. Who is the youngest in the class? ¿Quién es el más joven? Vamos a ver. Elda, how old are you? 25. Let's see. Alguien es, tiene menos de 25 años. Tranquilo. <laughs> Me, teacher. Me How teacher. old are you, Grace? <laughs> 24. 24. Okay. What's the Rebe Rebecca? I am 30. Emma? 23. Ok, ahí va ganándole. Ay, que destronaron a Grace. A ver, los niños, no, ¿verdad? Todos están arriba de, de 23. Todos maduros, teacher, así se dice. <risa> ok, so... Todos arriba de 40, teacher. Ajá. Ay, Seniors. Mamá. Ah, pues sí, ya no, ya no. Ya no, ya no. <risa> Entonces... Teenager, en segunda vuelta. Sí. Gemma is 23, right? Sí. Gemma. Yes. Okay, we will say then that Gemma is the youngest in the class. So you see, I'm comparing Gemma with all the other students in the class. So Gemma is the youngest in the class. Okay. Any questions? Sí. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. perfect. I'm going to stop sharing y nos vamos por la última attendance. Adriana Marcela. 
Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Le Elmer Fabricio. Elmer, no, está no ahí. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Nubia se queda conmigo hoy. Ok. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. And Luis Maurice. Bueno, ahí estamos. ¿Verdad? Enjoy your time for sleeping. Have a good night. Relax, relax, relax. Yes, teacher, good night. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. A dormir. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Did you see you? Okay. Hoy no se querían ir. Teacher, mire, qué bueno que me quedé con usted. Va. En el comparativo es uno contra todo, dice. O uno con uno. El comparativo es uno uno. Ah. Como el ejemplo que ponía de las botellas. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Por ejemplo, when you told me, I am taller than my sister. Mm. Uno, uno, comparative, taller. Mm. Pero si ya quiere usar el superlative, ya sería de compararse usted con todos los hermanos que tenga. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. And then you say, I am the tallest in my family. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya no solo se compara con su hermana, sino que se compara con todos. Ah, ok. Este ya es el superlativo. I mm -hmm. am the tallest in my house. Y en, y en este, por ejemplo, en los verbos, se modifica al terminar en R, se le sustituye por, vi que terminaban en EST, me parece. Ah, vamos a ver, vamos a comparar, compartir aquí. Sí, los adjetivos, porque estos son adjetivos, eh, lo que sucede acá es que cuando usted va a hacer el, el adjetivo normal y que se le llama un adjetivo en forma positiva, positive adjective, está el adjetivo así, normal, ¿verdad? Tall, fat, uh -huh. big, sad, expensive, cheap, Entonces, está así normal. Cuando usted usa el comparative, le agrega R al comparative. Ajá. ¿Sí? Pero en el superlativo va a agregar IST. Entonces, esa ya sería la forma en superlativo. ¿Sí? Que significa Ajá. el Pero más y en alto, este caso el, el más alto de todos. Por ejemplo, si usted usa, en el, en... Si usa el comparativo va a decir yo soy más alto que fulanito, ¿verdad? Usamos mm -hmm. el dan aquí. I'm taller than my sister. Ajá. Pero si usted va a usar el superlativo, va a decir I am the tallest. 
Ah, ok. O sea, yo soy la más alta. Uh -huh. no, hay nadie. no hay nadie más. I am the tallest in my family. Sí. I am the tallest in my... O sea, cambia completamente. Soy el más alto de todos en mi clase. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Soy el más alto de todos en mi familia. Pero cambia, se modifica completamente el, el adjetivo y el contexto de, de, de la oración en sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, porque usted puede decir, I am tall, my sister is tall. That I am taller than my sister. Yo soy más alta que mi hermana. Pero uh -huh. ya, si quiere usar el superlativo, ya va a decir, yo soy la más alta de todos. Ya no solo es más alta que su hermana. Ya es más uh -huh. alta que todos los demás que existen en la casa. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ah, esa era la duda que yo tenía. Y cuál Ajá. Que me quedó. <risas> Exacto. Mírale que cayó súper, súper. Súper bien. Sí. Mañana seguimos con los superlativos, pero mañana vamos a ver los que son de, por ejemplo, los que terminan en Y, que si usted se acuerda, Vamos a ver. Si usted se acuerda, en el comparative tenemos happy, happier. Ah. Cambia y to i and then er. Uh -huh. Pero si vamos a usar el superlativo, el cambio se va a dar siempre a est. Sí, sí, sí estamos hablando. De un adjetivo, por ejemplo, estos son adjetivos que tienen dos sílabas, miren. Yo digo simpler, no digo more simple. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, este, este simple sería como una excepción que dijimos la vez pasada, que si un adjetivo tiene dos sílabas, le puede perfectamente poner more. Pero en el caso de simple, no. Yo no puedo decir more simple. You say simpler. O de simple. The simplest. Ah, uh -huh. Se y modifica. Cuando, y cuando terminan en Y, be happier, busier, the busiest. The happiest. ¿Ya? Yeah. Puchita, bien, bien, bien complejo, vea. Para una cosa, una palabra, ¿cómo se va? Va cambiando, va cambiando. Entonces, sí. Por ejemplo, la vez pasada veíamos esto. Veíamos solamente la, ¿se acuerda que vimos todas las reglas para hacer los comparative adjectives? Uh -huh. Entonces, la diferencia es que para el superlativo no ocupo ER, sino que IST. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y si hablamos de adjetivos largos, que mañana lo vamos a ver más en detalle, more para los comparativos and the most para los eh, superlativos. ¿Sí? Ah, también. Y Ajá, exacto. Se da un cambio. Pero este es para los adjetivos que tienen más de dos sílabas. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Los largos. Entonces, aquí siempre recuerde, comparatives comparo dos. Superlatives uh -huh. comparo uno, uno contra con el resto. resto. Ah, ok. Puede ser uno contra dos, uno contra tres, contra cuatro, con, contra muchos. Pero uh -huh. si es uno, uno, ¿verdad? Uno contra uno, usamos comparative. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, tenía, tenía esa duda porque en las primeras proyecciones que, que tenía, Ajá. vi que en una terminabas en, en ER, pero cuando ya se ocupaba el superlativo, al final de la, del adjetivo se modificaba. Sí, exacto. Y ese es cuando uh -huh. se ocupa el superlativo, porque es más, el más uh -huh. hasta allá. ¿verdad? Si yo digo better, uh -huh. es mejor. Pero si digo the best es el mejor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The best, the most expensive, el más caro. The busiest, el más ocupado. Entonces ahí es donde va el superlativo. 
pero no se preocupe mañana. Oye, que es bien. Mañana. No, ajá, pero, pero tiene uno, por ejemplo, que saber la estructura de la palabra para ver cómo se va a ir modificando eh, y en qué tiempo, por decirlo así, ve. Eh, para ver, eh, ajá, para ver dependiendo de qué es lo que quiere, si quiere comparar o si quiere usar su pelato. Uh -huh. Súper, súper interesante. Sí, mañana y seguimos. Mañana. <risa> Sí. mañana <risa> seguimos con más detalle de esto Perdón. ah ok uh -huh. chivísimo vamos a estar haciendo más exercises yo soy de comparativos <coughs> and superlatives any, ah, okay. other, any other question eh, no, no 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 teacher eso tenía así que por un momento me quedé pero no quise preguntar porque yo dije no vaya a ser que confunda también a los demás no, no, cuando tenga Pero, preguntas, hágalas, no hay problema. Muchas veces piense que alguien se queda con la duda y así como que igual vean, ¿no? Porque es que me da pena. Entonces no preguntan, entonces no, siempre es importante que, que pregunten. ¿verdad? No, no, yo sé. Pero yo por un momento me quedé, vi que se modifica al final, pero dije yo, si yo pregunto, va a dar así como sospecha que quizás lo, lo que han entendido algo después los vaya como a confundir, ¿verdad? Ah, no, 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 porque así lo que hace es que reafirman, ¿verdad? Lo que, lo que, uh -huh. lo que han comprendido ellos, uh -huh. pero ahí está. No, pero sí, eso, eso era básicamente y de ahí me quedé que cuando es el comparativo y el superlativo, pero hoy sí ya estoy clara oh, que ya. Eso, oh, sí. ver, uh -huh. que... mañana vamos a estar haciendo más ejercicios. Ya sí, todo. sí, porque en la medida que uno practica, como que va afianzando y, y reforzando, vea, uh -huh. el conocimiento. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Ahí se va quedando mejor. Sí. Ahí estamos. La verdad que sí. Vaya, pues, entonces, nos vemos mañana, Vámonos. ¿verdad? Vámonos a dormir. Vámonos a dormir. <risa> <laughs> ya se sueño <laughs> hey, time to sleep excellent ok sí. vaya pues teacher gracias oiga. you're welcome por la paciencia <laughs> claro que sí mm -hmm. bye bye take care yes. good bye. night good night